After over 30 years of being a pastor, he decided to embrace a completely different path of life, becoming the chain of Obu Moshe. The next thing I had, clearly, you are born for this. This is the reason for your birth. Do you even know what that means? Let's find out. Former pastor Fola Gandhi had finally passed the baton of leadership in RCCG after pastoring for several years. This is one of the largest RCCG branches in the USA and he is set to relocate to Nigeria as a king from pulpit to palace. Interesting. I am only following God. There is nothing in this world that anybody has to offer me than what I have committed half of my adult life to do. Absolutely nothing. And if you, are, if you know me very well, I am not doing this because I have nothing else to do. I'm telling you today. I am not doing this because I have nothing else to do. I am doing this because I believe in it with my whole heart. And I'm going to tell you today that I have only one covenant, and that covenant is with the blood of Jesus Christ. No other covenant will I engage in. I'm not going to go into the details of a lot of things that you have seen on the social media. I'm not going to go into that details. A word from God came to him after he spoke to his spiritual father, who encouraged him and told him to pray and fast over it. But according to him, he never did because he was not interested anyway. I said to him that uh, they want me to come and become someone for more sure. <laughs> but uh, that I just don't want you to hear. And so while I was talking, he said to me, he said, no, 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 no. I said, but I'm not, it's not because I'm interested, but <laughs> I didn't want him to hear. That's what I'm saying. So he stopped me. He said, no, don't say you are not interested. I said, why? He said, no, this kind of thing, you brought it from heaven. I said, what do you mean, sir? He said, of course, you are born into a royal family. You brought it from heaven. So don't ever say you are not interested. So he told me that go and pray and go and fast about it. Talk of being uninterested. How did he become a pastor? You might be wondering. And so Full Gospel was having a convention in Port Harcourt. Okay. So I went there and Pastor Inoka Adeboye, the general of was uh, the main speaker. The main speaker, yes. He used so, to be the main speaker. Then in Full Gospel. Full gospel yeah, yeah, so yes. I had listened to him once. He had come from a breakfast meeting in the Full Gospel once before. So, and um, when I was preaching, I had God clear that go and follow this man if you want to make it. Wow. Yeah. And that's, that was all. Yeah. yeah. Go and follow, follow that this man. Indeed, he has made it in life. He has also retired and do not forget, God now tells him that what he was originally born for is for him to be the Shehun of Obomosho. A perfect definition of God works in mysterious ways, I would say. I don't know formally how we do this because I've never anointed a king. But it's say congratulations, King Gandhi. Long may be your reign. God bless you. I'm a room again. If you are wondering if he will be embracing Ifa, I think all of you pastors need to understand his definition of who a pastor is with his new call. It is. So how do you reconcile being a pastor and a traditional ruler? All right. You know, this, this is, um, I think, the way to back up is this. Who is a pastor? A pastor is a shepherd. You agree with me? A traditional ruler, a king, a mayor, a governor, a president, they are all shepherds. We, as pastors, we are shepherds in a local congregation like this. A king is a shepherd of a city. And so the major difference is that the people they are shepherding are different. And so as a shepherd, all your sheep, whether they are black, whether they are white, whether they are brown, you show all of them the love. You take all of them to the green pasture. So you don't say, because this is black sheep, I don't like it. This is white sheep. I don't. And the great shepherd, who is our Lord Jesus Christ, he has shown us that God so loved the world that he died for everybody. And so God died for whether you are atheist, whether you are Muslim, whether you are Christian. It's whosoever. And that is what the difference. Um, so that's the, the, um, the way I will explain what it is. So the difference is the nomenclature, the name we give one. All of them are what? Shepherds. 
you know so when he said i will give you shepherds after my we as pastors always think that it's only about this local church no it means that i will give you leaders that's what he's saying who will lead you according to my principles the only principles i've learned in my adult life are the principles of christ so whether you are a traditional ruler or a pastor in a church as one presiding over people, you are a pastor. And what matters is what principles you exercise your authority. The principles of Christ or the principle of the opposite. Fill in the blanks. One thing is sure, as a king, he has to accept and embrace all forms of religion so far as they are practiced in the community. Permit me to explain to you the process of becoming the Sheon of Obomosho. You have to be born into the royal family. Although you believe it is the position still has to be contested for. In his selection, there were 23 candidates from the same family, but his family has declared him unrecognized, and they are contesting the decision of the kingmakers who picked him to be the king. And there were four kingmakers. It was a tie, two, two. And the, the chairman of the kingmakers voted for me to, be, to break the tie. The story gets even more interesting. While thinking through this before making this analysis, I wonder the reason why his family does not recognize him. Then this video of him speaking came to mind. I've only been in the past 25 years, I've only been for three times. Oh, yes, I've only slept there for one, one night twice. And another the third time, and so I was there for about 30 minutes. So I'm, I do not know the people. And this tradition is not a tradition I know. I've lived abroad. I've been living abroad since 1993. Forever. For, for, since 1993. That's a long time. Yeah. So for going to about 29 years or 30 years now, I've lived abroad. Well, I'm, 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 I'm. As I had members of the ruling family showing interest, they do not have the right to screen out candidates of which Pastor Gandhi himself happens to be part of the same family. And the only reason a person can be disqualified is if he is not a true born of the family or if the person is disabled. There's another group of people called the kingmakers I just mentioned now. They are the ones with the responsibility of screening the candidates and deciding who becomes king. They screened and Pastor Gandhi himself came out successful. One of the criteria for selection is that the king has to embrace the three religions, namely traditional, Christian, and Islam, as the people of Obumosho are in this religion. To the family watching, in case you're watching, I ask, how was his father able to contest in this past, but his son right now is unrecognized? It's important for you to know that after God spoke to him, of which by then he had already spoken to his spiritual father, who encouraged him, like I just mentioned, to fast. After God spoke to him, he got a clear voice from God. He decided to go pick up the phone, which you also have to pay for. It's just for me to summarize. So in the family, those who are interested have to declare their interest, from which they are sold forms to. And from that selection, the names are being submitted to the kingmakers, who are now the one to do the screening to decide who becomes the next king. Personally, I think if he was not interested in going on this path, which he knows is not centered on Christianity, considering his reputation, he would not have picked up the form. But again, God spoke. The question you might be asking is, has he really left Christianity? Here is what he had to say about that. The love of people. Yes. You know, and God who told me I was born for this and took me through over 30 years of, uh, of ministry mm. knows exactly what he's doing. If the former was a Muslim and that a Muslim, what makes you think Pastor Gandhi is in error? I will encourage you to pray for him as he moves on from pulpit to palace and as his mind gets into his life or practice of being an Oba, will he be transformed by the renewing of his mind? Think about what I just said now. Will he be transformed by the renewing of his mind? Like you heard him say, he has only one covenant and is not going into any other covenants. And for him to be an Oba, like he would say here. A friend of mine was telling me the other day that uh, whether I like it or not, you are going to eat the heart of the last Oba. <laughs> I'm saying, what are you talking about? You know, <laughs> really, that I'm not going to deal with that. So, so what I'm trying to say. No, I just, I just like to get under your skin. No, no, you're not. <laughs> but, no, you're not. I just want people to know and your viewers to know. 
Now, that throne, it's what you want to do, that you do. So some people do some things because they want it to be mystical. They say, oh, the people won't allow you. No. That's why they call it Kabiosi. You Kabiosi. do what you want to do. So a lot of people do things to, to scare people, to say, I did this, I did this. I mean, there is no heart to it. There is no flesh. Yeah. In one of my episodes, I told our viewers that if there's anybody who can transform Obama show to Dubai, you are the man. <laughs> Thank God. And, uh, he is the one that decides what he wants to do as the Oba. The main essence of this video is just asking a question. Is something wrong with the pastor becoming the show owner of Obama show? Remember, he has retired. What did you rob me a show of Obama? Do me, what's in my shoe? Only do me a shoe.